Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the Mod Showcase. In case if you guys are new here, we check out all the newest mods that have been put on the Planet Zoo Nexus as of late. Lately, we have a lot of awesome mods and we're kind of covering ones that I kind of forgot to cover like a while ago. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's begin with a lovely little bird. Starting off strong, this is the Chestnut Mandibild Toucan by DS or Tuco DS. This is just a really, really solid bird right over here. So now keep in mind, this is Aano Wolf's uh, original model, and they made the necessary edits for it to actually look like the Chestnut Build Toucan. But the coolest thing about this mod is that there is a Chestnut Build Toucan out there that was born, or at least like has a deformed beak. And this mod author was actually able to make that prosthetic beak that they actually made for this animal in real life. Now I will say DS, because this is a problem that happens like with literally every single modder. Um, there is like this weird fur shell going on around here, so I just think all you need to do is regenerate the fur fins on that, and then you should be good. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with these mods, they are based on the Wolverine, I believe. So if we get like a climbing frame right over here, we should be able to see it climb. Let's actually force it to climb, why not? Look at them go! That's so cool. I don't know. Like, it's a shame that our birds can't fly, but damn, at least do they look good. And speaking of looking good, we're gonna move on to the Tasmanian wedge ta Wedge-Tailed Eagle. Oh my gosh, try saying that five times fast. This is another beautiful mod by Great Cake Mods, and it looks fantastic. It is based off of the peafowl, so it won't be able to really climb, and it does make the peafowl noises, but I think we should be able to teach Great Cake on how to remove those noises. Uh, because obviously you don't want to hear peafowls. I don't even like peafowls to begin with, so I just want to hear as less of them as possible. But it really is such a fantastic looking mod. Look at that stuff. Oh my god. What they do with their feather work is incredible, so it's just always so cool to see how beautiful these animals look. And plus, it's another Australian animal. Who could really be upset about that? We do have two new exhibit mods this week. We do have the Barrington Land Iguana. Uh, I think these guys are from the Galapagos. Let me just double check on that. I don't know. Let's let's read the Zoopedia together. Yep, they are from the Galapagos. They are from... They don't say what specific island in there, but they do exist. So that's very... But this is a beautiful mod by Viral. His honestly, like, first 100% all Viral mod, which is so cool to see. Typically a JWE modder, but it's good to see they join the good ranks amongst the Planet Zoo players. Just a beautiful looking animal right there, too. I don't know. It's so... Now, this one was a quick port by Nick and myself. Nick originally made the texture for this, like, years ago, honestly. Probably three years ago. This is the Emerald Tree Boa. Nothing too crazy. We do want to remaster it eventually. It's just right now. Uh, there are some issues with it, like the example being that it's huge. Uh, they typically don't even get to be this size in real life. Uh, it's based off of the green anaconda, so we will be fixing that relatively soon. We just want to get this, like, as new exhibit animal we will be remastering that i just want to say it's just a matter of actually figuring out how to scale exhibit animals since that isn't currently possible yet so i guess we'll figure that out relatively soon but there he is emerald tree boa we have another mod by great cake mods this is the blanford's fox now if you guys are true zoo tycoon veterans like myself you re might remember this mod uh, back in the Arabian Nights expansion pack. So it's just so awesome that they were able to bring it to Planet Zoo. I don't know, it's just so cool. It is based off the Fennec Fox, but what's even better about this one is that they added, like, all these beautiful fur planes to the tail, really, really stepping up the quality of this animal. And it's just so beautiful looking. I don't know. It's just always so cool to see modders put that little, like, that little extra detail in there. Look at that beautiful tail. That is fantastic. I don't know. And then on the silly side of things, we do have another kind of like quote-unquote mythological animal this week. We do have the Egyptian Death Dog, otherwise known as the Anubis for all of our casuals out there. This was a really quick mod made by Nick, and he was like, listen, Leaf, I just wanted to make something silly. Can you, like, just bring it to the game? And always for Nick, I'm like, hell yeah. 
So yeah, we just made the Anubis, and it is super, super freaking beautiful. I don't know. I really do like it. So if you guys are working on, like, a mythological park, these guys would absolutely be a mainstay in, like, an Egyptian section. I don't know. That's so... Moving on from there, this might look like a mythological animal, but no, this thing actually existed. This is the koala lemur, otherwise known as Edward's koala lemur, for all of our scientific people. Mega... Mega... Lapdus? Lap... Latipus? Edwardsy? I don't know. I, I'm not an extinct animals person. They went extinct 600 years ago, so imagine if these guys were still around today. That would be freaky. I don't know. They just look like these weird little guys. And of course, they are called the koala lemur, but they are closely related to lemurs, so they are technically primates. Or prosimians. I forget what lemurs actually fall under. They are just the funniest looking dudes ever. I know Narwhaler is like one of the only people to actually do like a 3D model on these guys, so it's just always so cool to see. Really awesome job, Nar. Always do love to see your work. And here's a little baby. Oh my gosh, he looks so funny. Moving on from there, we are not done with our extinct animals. Good luck trying to pronounce this one. Kavivahyrix Cahithicus. I don't even know. Gr great cake. You gotta start giving these guys some fake common names because I am not allowed to say these words. But yeah, extinct Hyrax species. This was a commission by Cenozoic Lover. Always so cool to see that. But yeah, it's just an extinct Hyrax species. Hyraxes typically don't get enough love. So seeing an extinct species species of Hyrax is honestly really freaking cool. Look at that. I don't know. They just look so funny. We also have Titana Hyrax Ultimus or like the giant Hyrax. So cool right here. I don't know. They look so awesome. I believe these are all based on the Wombat, which is kind of cool. So they should be able to use a burrow, but I wouldn't suggest it because they are big. Uh, I'm not really sure, but they do look kind of cool. And they even have little babies right down here. Look at them. Look at the little goobers. Hell yeah. All right, we have a lot of mods in here, so we'll gotta check these out. Um, now, this one is by Gushy. Gushy has made the red-legged Suriyama, which is very cool. These guys are known for stepping on, like, snakes and stuff like that, much like the secretary bird. And they are just a beautiful, beautiful looking species. Gushy is the one who made the secretary bird which is probably one of my favorite mods out there right now, which is so cool. But you can see this animal is just absolutely spectacular. All these feather details in here is so incredible. And like the way that the feathers match the body so well is something that I think Gushy does so incredible. And again, they have this little tuft of hair on like their beak and bill and stuff like that. I think that's so cool. But we're not done with birds just yet. Uh, Great Cake Mons has made the white-faced whistling duck. Probably one of my favorite species of duck out there. They are so adorable. Look, cute little faces. I don't know. I am so happy now that we have so many. Oh, they just emoted at the same time. Uh, but yeah, I just love whenever we do get these lovely little duck species, especially knowing the fact that the swan has birthed like all of these mods. It's so cool to see. I think we have another mod in here, another extinct one from South America. These are all from South America, by the way. This is the Sanso Smileus. I don't even know. I don't even know what this is. Let's let's learn a bit. It is part of Barborphilidae. It's related to cats, I guess. I really don't know. It looks kind of cool. Oh, it's from France? I thought they would have been from South America, but that is very interesting. So yeah, extinct European species. Very cool. Now, this one is more my style. This is a lovely mod from Monsoon. This is the Vietnamese pot-bellied pig. Look at the little babies. They're so cute. But yeah, the Vietnamese pot-bellied pig is probably one of the most common domestic species of pig that you'll find in a zoo, just because they have these cute little pug-like faces. They're the cutest little things ever. And just getting more pig species is always so cool. So just seeing Monsoon bring one of my favorites to the game is just freaking awesome. I don't know. I love to see it. Do they have some in species enrichment? Let's find out. They do not. Such a shame. Moving on from there, we do have the lovely Canada Lynx. So now we officially have all four members of the Lynx family. We have the Bobcat, we have the Ur Eurasian Lynx, which is, you know, it's the, you know, one from the Europe pack. We have the Iberian Lynx, and we also have the Canada Lynx. Am I missing one? I feel like I'm missing one, but you know what? It's totally fine. Really, really beautiful mod over here, Gaboy. It is insane to see how you're able to tackle cats. 
because they always come out so beautiful. And Canadian lynxes are just some of the most adorable, most fluffy looking cats ever. I don't know, I really do love this one. And the whiskers all around the face are so good too. Great work. We should have some smaller animals in here too. Let's see if I can pick one out of here. We have the Tolosk Sable. Uh, I think it should have another name, uh, like a common name. Uh, it is a sable. Okay, no, it's just a Russian species of sable, which is very cool. No interspecies enrichment, which makes sense because they are technically a carnivore, I believe. But yeah, just a super adorable looking mod from Great Cake Mods. Once again, I don't know how Cake does it. I really don't. Cake, you gotta teach me because I've not released a mod in quite some time. And you're just churning these things out like butter. And they look beautiful. Look at that. So adorable. I wish I had more fun facts to share with these animals, but I really don't. Here's to the Nubia Ibex remaster. This is from Narwhaler. Narwhaler, always such a beautiful job with his goats, with his ungulates, and this one is no exception. The original Nubian Ibex made by Nick was pretty good, but this one is such a step up. It is very beautiful. All the details with like the feet and stuff like that have turned out so marvelous, and it is just a beautiful looking mod. Amazing work. Moving on from there, we have the Tanzanian Red-Billed Hornbill. Otherwise, you guys might know this guy as Zazu. Really beautiful job on here by, you guessed it, Great Cake Mods. Again, we have a little bit of that first shell issue right there, Great Cake, but I'm sure you can fix that up in no time. Just regenerate your fins or something. But it is a very beautiful looking animal, and these guys are perfect for your little aviaries. We have another tortoise mod by Olobri. This is the leopard tortoise. These guys are found all over Africa, I want to say. Indeed, they are. Just a really, really solid looking animal over here based off of the Herman's Tortoise Exhibit 2 Habitat mod, which is my mod, which is based off of the original Herman's Tortoise, yada yada. Really just an update to the shell over here. It does look very beautiful. So these guys are honestly a really, really great addition to like reptile houses. And hey, if you're playing challenge mode, these guys breed like crazy apparently. So you could, you know, churn out a whole lot of them. Oh my God, look at all these guys together. That is so fun. Funny to see. I love them. And I believe the last one we have for today is the Western Hartebeest. Really, really beautiful. Hartebeests are just some of the weirdest little guys out there, so it's always so cool to see them get a little bit more love. This one is made by Phonetic. Phonetic is no longer, um, Phonetic will no longer be making mods. It sounds like they died or something. No, they're just taking a break from Planet Zoo. Uh, so I'm so happy to get this mod out there for all of you guys, especially for the person who originally commissioned it. Uh, so yeah, it's just really just solid mod right there. I don't know. Am I missing anything? I'm like kind of freaking out because I feel like I missed a uh, La Hoist monkey. La Hoist. Again, another low breed mod. This is a remaster to, I forget who it was, uh, Dr. Kebab or something like that, who originally made the La Hoist monkey. This is a beautiful texture low breed. Really do love the texture on the back right there. You did pretty damn good. But yeah, it's just another solid, I want to say, South Asian primate. Oh, no, they're from Africa. That's actually kind of cool. All right, you got another African primate. Good job. But yes, did we miss anything? I don't want to, I don't want to circle back to these mods again. So it seems like we have every single mod in here. Let me know your favorites in the comments down below. I'm going to say my favorite for the week is the white face whistling duck. There is something about it that is just so adorable. So that's where we're going to end it today. Thank you all so much for today. I really do appreciate all your like continued support over the past month or two months or three months. I don't know. I really am so excited for some of the videos I have planned coming out soon. I just haven't had enough time to make them, but I hope you guys are excited for them as I am. And without further ado, we're going to end it right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.